Dear participants to the International Arbitration Conference in Lahore, I send you my regards from Doha, the capital of Qatar. I have the pleasure to address you a few words on the occasion of this conference, where we were unable to attend in person, but I wish that these few words will make us very close to each other and we can share together some thoughts about international arbitration. First of all, let me thank the organizers of this conference, uh, Mr. Syed Ahmed Din Assad, the founding director of the UMT School of Law and Policy, as well as Mr. Rana Sajjad Ahmed, the founder and the president of the Center for International Investment and Commercial Arbitration, the CIICA. As you know, Qatar and Pakistan have very strong ties which have historical roots. Qatar and Pakistan have signed together in 1999 a bilateral investment treaty. Also, Qatar and Pakistan are members in the organization of the Islamic Conference since 1981. And without forgetting also that Qatar and Pakistan have signed a treaty to avoid the double taxation. All these uh, important features in the relation between Qatar and Pakistan gives some thoughts about the future of the commercial relations, investments, reciprocal, I would say, uh, legal cooperation, etc. So the geographical proximity between Qatar and Pakistan has played a very important role in uh, approaching the two countries and to strengthen the commercial ties and the investment ties. As you understand, also Qatar is a country where a lot of projects are undertaken by either national companies, international companies, or joint ventures between uh, Qatari companies and foreign companies. We have a big number of projects which are going on, mainly in infrastructure. We have the subway of Metro, which is coming to its uh, final phases. We have the new seaport of Hamad. We have the airport, the Hamad International Airport, which is representing one of the most modern uh, uh, airports in the region. We have also a very big number of uh, projects going on for the construction of uh, compounds, residential areas, clubs, public uh, areas, public gardens, and so on. So, as you understand, uh, these contracts are uh, run by the government, so the government is the employer in these large con contracts and we have the so-called the uh, Public uh, Works Authority, the PWA, which is overseeing the performance of all these mega construction projects. From a legal perspective, as you understand, we have a chain of contracts going down as a cascade from the employer to the main contractor, to the subcontractors, to the suppliers, and so on. It is uh, normal that in all these contracts there is a specific clause about the resolution of disputes. And what we can uh, observe in such contracts is that the uh, resolution of disputes passes through different stages. So we have the so-called the multi-tier resolution clauses starting by, of course, the parties exerting some efforts in order to resolve the dispute in an amicable manner. And in case of their failure, they may use the uh, services of a mediator. And finally, if uh, nothing works from the above, we go for arbitration. We have in Qatar uh, two arbitration centers. I am actually the uh, general uh, Council of the Qatar International Center for Conciliation and Arbitration, the KICA, 
which is part of Qatar Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Uh, Kika was founded in 2006 as part of Qatar Chamber of Commerce and Industry and since we are receiving uh, every year an increasing number of uh, uh, notices or requests of arbitration. Recently, just in 2017, the Qatari legislator has issued a very modern uh, arbitration law, law number two of 2017, which is uh, inspired from the model law of the United Nations Commission for International Trade Law, the UNCITRA. So this uh, modern legislative framework is encouraging uh, the companies, either Qatari or uh, foreign companies, to use uh, ADR means, mainly conciliation or arbitration. Also, I would like to tell you that Qatar is member of the New York Convention of 1958 for the recognition and enforcement of uh, the Foreign Arbitral Awards and we have several rulings coming from the courts of Qatar where uh, foreign awards have been enforced uh, against a Qatari party or against a multinational company which has a domicile or it has a center of business in Qatar. Uh, when we talk also about uh, energy uh, contracts, of course we understand that uh, Qatar is one of the largest producers in the world of uh, uh, natural gas. So the liquefied natural gas is transported by carriers from Qatar to all the continents of the world and that explains also that sometimes we do have uh, in the contracts for supply of LNG some of the clauses which are talking about arbitration on the price of LNG. Uh, arbitration is deeply rooted as you know in the uh, Arab and Islamic cultures and civilization uh, we have, uh, from the very beginning of uh, Qatar history, a kind of uh, arbitration which was going on between the uh, people who go diving, so the divers for Pearl, and the owner of the ship or the vessel which was taking these divers far in the middle of the sea in order to dive and uh, extract these beautiful pearls. So since that time, we have this kind of ad hoc arbitration which was taking place. We cannot forget also that there were some very important uh, oil arbitrations like the one of uh, the ruler of Abu Dhabi or the ruler of Qatar with some of the uh, foreign companies which were making you know, this uh, uh, exploration and extraction of natural resources uh, from the uh, 20s and the 30s of last century. Well, uh, uh, in Qatar, uh, we do have, uh, of course, a big number of arbitrations. Our arbitration rules in Kika are also inspired from the unicentral model arbitration uh, rules. Uh, we have a list of uh, arbitrators. Uh, besides that list, of course, the parties are free to consent uh, on the name of any arbitrator, man or woman, Qatari or non-Qatari. Uh, many of our arbitrations are conducted by a panel of three arbitrators. Uh, the governing law is usually the Qatari law, which is a civil law tradition. So we do have a lot to do with some other Arab countries as well who have adopted the civil law tradition. And in general, uh, we have uh, awards which are uh, rarely uh, set aside by the uh, courts. As you understand, under the new law, the only way to set aside the uh, award is if there is any irregularity in the arbitration agreement, in the composition of the arbitral tribunal, in the proceedings of the arbitration, violation of due process, if the arbitrators did not align with the mission they had, and finally, if the uh, subject of the arbitration dispute uh, was not arbitrable or if the award was contrary to public policy. Once again, I wish to all the participants a very good conference. 
This conference is coming, if I understand, in order to present the past, the present and the future of international arbitration in Pakistan. We wish that we shall have the opportunity to come and visit your nice country soon. And once again, we wish not only to all the participants, but also to all the Pakistani population a lot of prosperity and a lot of uh, good days. Thank you.